Hey guys, Zoltan here, and this is a fan-inspired video. Um, Mr. Harryface asked if I could make a video about Half-Life. So Half-Life will be part of our testing, I guess. So I still have the system with the Voodoo 2 inside, so I will start with this. Then I will move to the Revo 128 which he uh, requested. So this is the original Half-Life and the system requirements here is Windows 98 which is good and Pentium 133 really good uh, 24 megabytes of RAM, SVGA 16 bits yeah it has a, a software mode as well so something about the DirectX Diamond Viper 3DFX uh, mini driver and all those kind of stuff really nice so we have a Voodoo 2 and this Voodoo 2 is actually the one with the uh, the memory or texture memory issues so what I figured out so far is I'm going to the configuration video video modes and I'm using the OpenGL 3DFX mini driver. Direct 3D is not working at all. And I can run in all of those resolutions up to 800 by 600. It displays higher resolutions like 10, 24 by 768, but it will just say not supported. So you need the Voodoo 2 SLI to actually have. Um, higher resolution and it says in comparative Voodoo, Voodoo 2 or Banshee chipset so I thought the Banshee is around the age of the Voodoo 3 so not sure uh, maybe a bit older select the 3dfx mini driver as your OpenGL so we did just that and what I will do is just load up my latest save which is not much just after the train intro sequence. I have just used the console command CL show FPS1 and in the top left corner you can see the frame rate. So don't know if there is any time demo or other things like that in Half-Life so if you know there is one just please uh, tell me in the comments section and Sorry, I'm on duty. And I will add it in a future video. So we will just uh, move around a bit. I don't remember Half-Life too much, the exact layout of the first level. I remember the doctors are somewhere. That's a bit loud. The face grabs and all of those. Um, yeah, as you can see, we have these uh, texture issues. And the frame rate is like hovering around 60. I think we have some kind of a V-Sync kind of stuff. I'm really sure some of you mentioned how I could disable it. Maybe to, I don't know, Rivetuner or something. But yeah, it will be just fine, I guess. Is that. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought it's the G-Man kind of same suit, but I don't know. Yeah, I think I have to talk to a duck or something. Oh, and it dropped down to 40 for a moment. I will not progress too much here and just want to move around in the corners and hallways just to see the frame rate. Maybe I'm moving the mouse just fast here and there. Uh, you're the one. I still don't have my hazard suit. I'm just after the hazard suit tutorial, so I expected to have it. Well, it's readable text actually. Jumping around, it's really good. And also, this crown jumping, it's cool. I've been here. Sorry. And you can move and stuff. It's it's really n new for me in the sense of, you know, it's an old game and you have these uh, 
moving NPCs, talking different kind of uh, dialogues, and you can move around objects, and also the doors are nicely animated and all those kind of things. So I think the Voodoo 2 is just uh, perfectly appropriate for this uh, game. Not sure what happens in combat. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, wait, oh, what? What I did, what I did, it's a sun, uh, we have Earth. Yeah, maybe they want me to just move around. Yeah, but I don't know where's the touch chamber. Cool and facility I've been here. The health stuff. Pretty good, yeah, sometimes it drops to the 40s. For instance here, 45 or something. I don't know why it's not that. Maybe the glass transparency. It's definitely. I've been here as well. Okay, cool. So this was uh, Half Life on the Woody Cube. And I will switch to the Rebo 128. And yeah, well, test that card. It's a really, really old card. So. Yeah, I'm interested about the performance on the Pantheon 3 600. Okay, so let's switch cards. So here we are with the Rebo 128 full megabyte card. Setting is OpenGL default renderer and 640 by 480 only. And as you can see, we have something around 30. I disabled the V-Sync in River Tuner. If it works, not sure, should. What I realized at first, the colors are, are a bit off compared to the Woody 2. Everything looks like just a... Uh, you see that? No really like um, shading or... I don't know how I could say that. Mm, kind of washed out colors pixelated stuff a bit, but it's definitely uh, like a 3D accelerated, it's not software, it's uh, different, just uh, strange, you know, no gradients, that's what I could say, but it runs, as you can see, it's pretty acceptable. Yeah, what I think here is the 16-bit versus the Voodoo's 20-bit uh, kind of emulation. Uh. We should go downstairs, but... Yeah, you can see the frame rate is uh, fluctuating a lot. It's around the 30s, but... Also, yeah, I think we should go downstairs. Let's see this room. With the glass also here. So this was slow with the voodoo. But looks like here with the river, it's it's not an issue, and we don't have those uh, texture problems either, of course. So I'm uh, not sure what kind of testing you meant. If there is a time demo, yeah, that would definitely be cool. But yeah, so this card definitely can run Half Life with the CPU, but. Uh, Let's just see other stuff here because we can test it with 800 by 600, which would be also very cool. So, uh, video options, sorry, video modes, 800. So basically, this would be the equivalent version compared to the Voodoo 2. It might be able to resume, of course. 
and I don't have frame rate displayed anymore. Sorry about that. Let's see. CL show FPS space and one. And maybe I just messed it up as usual. Oh, yeah, because of the keyboard layout. Let me show. I keep this part in just to see general issues, I guess. And. Well, well, well. Let's move around. It's a bit different part, but uh, yeah, I don't think the frame rate is worse. Only just the screen to just to remove those black bars. I have to do this all with the VGA connection. Well, here with this double transparency, we have 18, something 40, 30, 20s. I think I see more twenties than loaded back. Yeah, it's kind of open word, but <laughs> a lot of loadings. It's fine. Just slow for a moment. Fifteen, nineteen, or something. It's animated. Yeah, it was much more clear with the forty two. But it runs, it's uh, pretty good. So, yeah, the Rewind 28 turns this perfectly fine. So, what else we could test? If this card might be better with the Direct 3D if it works. So, configuration, video, video modes, Direct 3D. And let's start with 640 by 480 default D3D. Done, done. Resume. So, will it survive the switch? Looks like it does. And it's not saving my console settings. Nothing, it's restarted. So, CL show FPS 1. Okay, 640 by 480, and yes, we reached 40, it's more 40 than 30, and also there was 50s, like here, so it's pretty good, I would say, with this resolution. Colors, still, still bad, it looks sharper, but the colors... Oh, uh, they are just way off. It's it's pretty old card, I think. 2D quality as well. It's not the best. So yeah, the textures are like when you set 16 bits in Quake 3, you know, kind of same effect. Like everything is just washed out. And we had some lag here. Maybe starting the conversation. Yeah, more laggy. It's it's definitely higher frame rate. But you see, we have these uh, lags. And this is new, it, it wasn't there with OpenGL, it was smooth, but lower, so maybe the OpenGL is better. And also we have this, uh, you see like those white bars between the textures. Yeah, faster but worse. I don't go there to load in, sorry. Okay, so one more thing, I... Wish to see is 800 by 600 in a direct 3D, and uh, also I think we can take a look at higher resolutions as well a bit because this card should support 960 by 720 something. Let me see. Sorry, CL, not this one. CL show FPS one. Glorious. And yeah, how oh, this is like close to the OpenGL one because we have seen RTs, 40s. Yeah, so the maximum frame rate is higher, full activation is definitely bigger because we can see 10s and 40s, not just 20s and 30s. So yeah, I'm going on the same route over and over again. I need to see this guy as well. We have the lags as well. Yeah. So, let's see a higher resolution. So, it's Direct 3D. 
960 by 720 and it actually runs and even the textures are looking a bit better not the colors but the and well the clarity it's it's a bit better of course it's higher resolution but as you can see dropping to the tens the teens a lot and it started to be really laggy I'll go there Started to get bored about the same areas all the time. That's pretty good. Can we use the microwave? We can. Yeah, this is amazing. I understand why this game was a big deal. Yeah, that was really laggy. Changing room. Going down in frame rate. And maybe we have the suit. Oh, there is the suit. The hazard suit. Yeah, I will pick that up, but let's go to configuration, video, video modes, uh, 1024 by 768 it shouldn't work because not enough video memory, but well, give it a try. Wow, that's Starting very nicely. I wait a bit. Okay, we won't do too much here. So this is actually unsupported 3D resolution for this card. It shouldn't work at all. And as you can see, it still tries to work. But it messed up. Somehow it works. I don't know why. And as you can see, even the colors and everything is just uh, good. But we have this kind of filter and this lagging like crazy. But now the texture colors are fine. Lighting also fine. It's like increasing the resolution changing the actual graphical settings in a way so sharp textures are pop to be like really sharp this, this is good looking so yeah possibly switch to a better mode i've seen this in gta as well changing the resolution will scale the graphics as well so but it's not that good but as you can see opengl 800 you can run this game flawlessly so, only thing I miss is OpenGL, and in OpenGL you don't have the 960 by 720 unfortunately, but we will try the 1024 by 768 if it, if it works in OpenGL, shouldn't, but who knows, it's definitely slow. pretty slow so but I think we are reaching the end of the video I hope you enjoyed the video and also you mr. Harry face uh, you wanted something like this I hope and now you have seen the performance so guys if you have ideas stuff you want to see I'm ready to make some videos and also there are a bunch of video cards I wish to test in the new videos like Mm, GeForce 2 conversion, uh, GeForce 2 MX cards, because there were a guy I was talking about in the comments section about uh, it should be a fast card, MX400, 128-bit, and it's still very slow, so I have like 5 or 6 uh, GeForce 2 MX cards, uh, different types, um, and yeah, I would uh, make a test about them, just to see like a uh, SIM card, and hugely different performance because the MX cards are just all around the place with clock rates and I don't know what else but they're different so it's uh, frozen in a way Windows is still running but yeah so it's not working so thank you guys this was the Half-Life video it will be in our uh, new test suit from now on and yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you again in the next video.
just don't forget to like and subscribe and those kind of things that would motivate me a lot. So, thanks again. Bye-bye.